Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Libra. I hope this message finds you well. So, big personal, political, and partnership choices loom for you in 2023. And, you know, these choices will continue to affect your home and family life, finances, taxes, and career. Even with a different configuration of card decks, the ancestor advice that is coming through for you regarding the year is aligned with the message that came through for you in the stars and the cards in the Jupiter in Aries astrology and oracle year ahead reading. I've linked it down below for you to check out. <laughs> we even have this card in the upper left corner showing an astrologer pointing to a zodiac wheel with the seven of wands next to it, right? So it doesn't get any clearer that your ancestors urge you to check out this information and to arm yourselves with this information, right? The overlapping and clear guidance here is to truly take fearless and executive action in conflicts and any hard conversations related to breakups in love, family, and business, court cases, um, separating assets, child support, and any measures to really ensure and protect your businesses and solidify your independence and any measures to instill healthy interdependency and appropriate boundaries in relationships versus codependency. This is generally all about you making duly informed, duly rational decisions, right, that are backed by honesty from yourself and from others, that are backed by research and cost-benefit analysis in all areas of your life versus making any decisions based off of emotion or, you know, desiring to please others or to only be seen, right, in a certain way, right? The Bella Jack and Hermit Reverse card came out here and it's at the top left. And it's the first card that came out and it's related to this question of who are your loving ancestors coming through in this message and supporting you this year. And it's really saying that you have some wise male elders here um, trying to urge you to get unstuck and that um, are saying that even though they've been fiercely protecting you, it's really time for you to take accountability for your actions and decisions and any inaction, any delaying of decisions, and any refusal to see the truth in all of the ways that they've sent evidence, data, and any synchronistic messages your way, right? The King of Swords shows up here four times really it's here with the control card um that's at the center of your reading and this comes from the zen tarot deck um it shows up via the leadership and independence cards which are these key qualities related to the king of swords and then it also quite literally shows up in the King of Swords coming out once again in another deck, right? We have literally these three rows where the King of Swords and its attributes are all just like lined up here. So, you know, and in this last one, this last row where the King of Swords comes out, this King of Swords literally has a flame coming at the back of the throat chakra, right? And so... There's also a take action card here, right? So <laughs> it's truly indicating the urgency of this loving ancestor advice, right? And also confirming that it is a male ancestor, such as a father or a grandfather, supporting you this year in particular. And also that this King of Swords energy is the energy you're really encouraged to take on this year, where even astrology advice such as this and advice from astrologers, life coaches, 
practical business and financial advice, lawyers, and also proper health advice will be critical to you making executive decisions in the interest of your holistic success this year. If you look at the bottom row of tarot cards, right, we have this page of cups reversed with the king of swords with the fire coming out of the throat chakra here. And it's also followed by the page of swords and the judgment. And so this re-emphasizes this, right, stating that for a while you've ignored your gut instincts and truths about all of these kinds of matters you know, holding your tongue, hoping problems will go away, or that you could put a band-aid on certain things, right? You've been trying to avoid perhaps being perceived as ruthless, which is often how the King of Swords may be perceived because they cut to the truth, you know, and they lay issues out on the table, right? They examine things, right? And they make executive decisions that are not just based on emotion. And it's saying that you've avoided confrontation and conflict and hard conversations, right? And even self-accountability, right? With hard truths in these issues um, and in general self-accountability with sort of raising any issues, right? Related to, you know, relationships, um, court cases, assets, child support, and, you know, these sort of really pragmatic and practical measures related to your business and even your health and appearance, right? What's, and this came out um, in that Jupiter and Aries reading. So check it out to see what I said about that because I don't remember at the second. But what's interesting is that not only did these things come out in your psychic astrology reading, but <laughs> when I looked more closely, the astrologer in the card here is also actually pointing to the sign of Scorpio in the zodiac wheel here. And so this re-emphasizes that issues related to self-worth, personal values, ethics, your valuables, right? Your actual personal valuables and finances and personal assets, taxes, um, yeah, personal and shared assets, um, healthy inter interdependency in relationships and issues related to health and surgery operations will sort of be a focus and of importance this year, right? So truly, truly heed this. Um, the message is a bit of an omen in a sense, right? Because we have the projections card in reverse and we have all of these cards here that are so much about um, you know, truth and looking at facts. And then we even have the sacrifice card here. It's, it's very much about chickens coming home to roost, right? And having to accept consequences of any actions, right? Whether that is enduring any sort of discomfort, pain, or resentment, or even humiliation from continuing to delay action and ignore signs, or from the actions that you take, right, that you know are for your highest good and the highest good of all involved, but that may still cause pain, resentment, discomfort, or judgment from others, right? There is something here about you, you know, being asked to truly sacrifice a lower base desire or to, or that there something will or must be sacrificed in you making these executive decisions, right? But that it's ultimately for something greater to come in, right? We have the wishes come true card. It's these black cards are the magic making cards. And I pull these cards related to like what sort of spiritual advice or even certain goals or achievements that your ancestors are helping you with this year. So we have the wishes come true card. And it says rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. We have the tree of life card, which says true wisdom and making good choices in life, right? It's like they're really hammering this in here, y'all. And then we also have the elements card. 
And it says, the elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful, protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional, right? And so it just all really aligns and comes together in all of these different ways here. I think that there's also um, a really clear message hear that for any of you who have health issues or who are even considering cosmetic surgery, right, um, some sort of like physical transformation, I think this is also um, some sort of message to just really, really do your research related to, you know, the professional's who you consult with, right? And to also really take any sort of consultation advice very seriously, um, especially related to any sort of risks or any sort of precautions or even any cautions that they have for you um, related to something that you either need to get done or are just trying to elect to get done. Yes, yeah, surgery is definitely um, highly emphasized by um, the eighth house or in general the sign of Scorpio. It is also highly emphasized in relationship to the king of swords showing up here where one of these king of swords, uh, the one that is the control card at the top in the top center here, quite literally looks like someone that is lying on an operation table, somebody who might be preparing to go into a scan or that is, you know, on the table waiting to be operated on, right? Um, and because this is also next to the projections card in reverse, this could even be about someone getting gender confirmation surgeries, something like that. Um, this could be getting something removed that is uh, critical to your health or that will help to facilitate some sort of positive psychological transformation for you, given that the sacrifice card is here as well. This is also about making a measured decision as well, right? And um, being accountable in terms of like making any sort of extreme decisions in terms of elective surgeries and things like that. And then because the take action card is here as well, again, I think it's a clear message to emphasize if there are any sort of um, emergencies where maybe some sort of medical professional, some sort of life coach, somebody is like uh, really urging you to take take action to rectify some sort of like health issue, right? So yeah, that's kind of coming through really clearly here. And I just wanted to make sure that I got back around to that because it was, yeah, it was just really, really um, kind of sticking out. But yeah, I definitely hope that these messages were helpful, that they resonated. Definitely leave some comments down below letting us know whether or not this resonated, leaving some light-filled comments for the rest of your Libra collective. And um, definitely like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Check out all of the additional links in the description box and take care.